Everybody, come on, come all, because it's time for Transfer Portal Film Analysis and Review. X's and Knowles, guys, here, presented by Knowles247.com, and today we are talking defensive line trench talk. I know you're excited because I am, and we are talking West Virginia transfer. <gasps> Tommy Wa Durojaye. Nailed it. Absolutely. Without Kaboom. a doubt, phonetically perfect. And he, this kid deserves it because this is an exciting transfer, right? I'm very interested in this kid's upside. He was a guy, uh, 90 transfer grade, second year defender out of the state of Delaware. Adam. Hey, hey. He's actually, he's actually a Pennsylvania native. Oh, is he? Blue well, Blue I'm gonna, we're going to have to talk to the guy that wrote that article on Knowles 24-7 because I'm just reading straight from that. Anyway, hopefully this is true. We beat out Auburn and Miami for his services. Hey. Played in that West Virginia scheme. Had a really nice year this year. 23 tackles, 6 tackles for lofts, 3.5 sacks. West Virginia kind of plays at like 3-3-5 three, three, stack, mm -hmm. so I believe he was like um, – he was an outside defender for them. He was an edge, right? Because there was yep. some, there was yeah. some talk. He kind of played both. He kind of played both. So he's got positional versatility. He's got really high level athleticism. I think the film's going to be fun. Adam, what do you think of this take? First off, do you think this is a guy that stays as like a bigger, strong side edge? Does he grow into an interior guy? And how does Florida State deploy him in the year of our Lord twenty twenty four? I think he's probably an edge for them. I, I watched him at Middletown High School where he where he played his high school ball. Uh, here in Delaware, and I mean, he was a he was an. Oh, edge. He's from Pennsylvania. You just what do you well, mean? He, he he's from he's from Philly originally. He's you know moved down, transplanted down here. To okay. Oh, interesting. He didn't have enough wing tea in his life. That's exactly <laughs> right. So yeah, I mean, I think that I think that he's a a young man that I would assume that they're going to want to keep him at edge. Okay. Um, they like they like bigger, thicker edges that can set the, you know they can set an edge play the run, also have some pass rush ability. So I would think that they're going to keep him there, but it wouldn't shock me if he grows into a three-tech. I think that the likelihood is more that they find ways to utilize his skill set on the interior, but he's predominantly an edge player. Sure, maybe in like pass rush packages, yeah. moving to the inside, kind of like how Dennis Briggs was utilized every now yeah. and then. Mm -hmm. um, Kev, have you gotten a chance to watch uh, Tommy Wah's film yet? Yeah, and uh, I think it's kind of interesting. We'll see kind of schematically what West Virginia did with them, which I think is going to be kind of similar to what you see Florida State do with them, where West Virginia did a lot of switching between four down fronts and, and kind of like this th odd front, three, five down front, however you want to consider it. Um, and so he would kind of switch from being like a true edge rusher to more of like a four eye kind of, mm -hmm. you know, you know, hybrid defensive tackle uh, kind of position. And so, um, yeah, I, I think it'll be an interesting take. It'll be another tool they can kind of use, um, to kind of give different looks to defenses. Cause you, you saw FSU do a lot more of that odd front stuff than they had in years past this past season. And I think they want to continue that. I think the, the way that Florida state edges stack up this year reminds me of the way in 2024 reminds me of the way their interior stacked up this year. There was a lot of different like combinations, interesting combinations, whereas the edges in 2023, it was verse, it was Peyton. And then after that, it was, yeah, you don't, you don't really know what you're going to get this year. You yeah. can mix a Sione with a Patrick Peyton or Sione with a Marvin Jones, Jr. Or a Tommy Wah with a Patrick Payton, there's like a, each one of these guys, it's kind of like the wide receiver room where the, everybody's got like this defined skill set and the way that they mix it together gives this defense kind of like an interesting flavor and variation. I'd like to get to the film to see, but I guess before we do that, this was a highly coveted guy. Was this a big win for you guys on the trail? It feels like it, especially with the, the number of years that he has left to play. Like this isn't a one and done kind of guy. It's a guy that they can, Get in here. Maybe this year is not his. Obviously, isn't his ceiling, but they can build to his ceiling. And they could get his best years. And they don't need it to be his best year this year with some of the other right. guys they brought in, yep. which is nice. Like I said, they recovered nice in that old transfer portal. Please pull up that film, Kev. I'm very excited to see Mister Drojaye. All right. So here we go. So this is uh, all of his snaps from the, their game against Oklahoma. Um, he was graded pretty decently in this game. Um, this kind of ends up being a blowout at the end, so that's why he gets a decent amount of snaps. 
Um, but his snap rate went up and up as the season progressed. But uh, here he is. He's number three, I believe. You can kind of see that they're in this odd front. He's playing mm, yeah. right on the inside of that tackle. So uh, he's right now he's playing more more of a defensive tackle position. But this is kind of what we're talking about. You'll see him in both places. Four point stance. I know you love that big man. <laughs> Not a lot there. Ball's going away from him. Yeah. You kind of see. Oh, he's man, got nice. pretty. Oh, good penetration. Yep. Explosive first step. Does a nice job staying square. Kind of gets tripped up in there. That's yeah, it'll good, be interesting though. to see because um, he, he clearly looks like an explosive defensive tackle. And, you know, you saw someone like Braden Fisk who was able to take advantage of that, the defensive tackle position. Um, so he might give you an excuse to do a little bit more odd front. So here is at the bottom of the screen, just taking on a blocker. He needs to work on, you know, you, you see, he needs to work on getting detached. Mm -hmm. He kind of, it right now it presents itself as when an offensive lineman gets their hands on him, he doesn't really know what to do against that so yeah he's got he, something to work on yeah decent extension but i'm with you the disengagement's not there it looks like he's getting pretty brutally held on this one looks like he's yeah. got to work a little speed into power he's got to <laughs> drop his level got to drop his level a little bit there yeah the thing is though like even if you are you know getting held you it's your job then to make it obvious that you're getting held you need to you need to be able to work inside have the strength to kind of break that get the arms outside of the body and, and kind of force the call there. Yeah, he's not active enough with his arms in that play to me. Just kind of like by kind of penguin waddle status, arms by the side. I'd like to see a little bit more activity. So here he is. Now he's playing. Yeah, they're they're in like a they're in a three four here. So he, he's still kind of playing defensive tackle in a in an odd front, but communicating with his teammates. They obviously <laughs> love him. <laughs> Hi there. there. Yep. It's important, like, to note that, like, he, he's not being asked to be an explosive up the field pass rusher in this defense. That's like not that's not the role. So don't expect to see that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's setting the edge here, you yep. know, and that he's doing his job. It's not his job to make this tackle. I, th I, I think immediately, like, he's got to work on leverage. Yeah, he's got to work on some counters. Okay, you can see the athleticism. You can see, like, for a bigger dude, he's got a pretty decent first step. Yeah, he he moves pretty well in space, but yeah, he, he gets locked up pretty easily. He plays with pretty high pads. Which here he is as as a as a four three kind of defensive end. Maybe more similar to what we're going to ask him to do this year, going on the inside, whether yeah, they run a stunt the there or a blitz or something. Yeah, and I think this is a great use of him in the pass rush. So use him as a bull rusher, try to engage two people and maybe pair him up with, you know, a quicker defensive tackle, maybe a, a farmer type that can get around this edge. Well, I think they even have it's a backside defensive tackle on the stunt there. Yeah, right? that, that was an interesting decision. Yeah, that's a long way for that guy to go. <laughs> At the top of the screen again. There I, you go. Good, dude, that's a really good play. Yeah, so now he's he's playing this inside gap. He's letting go of contain. It's not his responsibility this play. His job is to blow this play up, and he does. Interior penetration seems to be his strength. Yeah, I, I was going to say that, Adam. He he set an edge nicely. He gets a little bit locked up in traditional pass sets, but like as an interior disruptor, getting across a tackle's face, and we've seen that with Florida State. That can really disrupt. He's trying to do it again there. That's a strength of his, right? So he started his career at Kentucky, and then – Went to West Virginia and now he's at Florida State. So I mean I wonder how stable his um strength and conditioning has been. Like I, sure. I think it would be good to get him in with Josh Storms. I believe he mentioned them wanting to cut a few pounds off of him, which should help with some of his speed and quickness. JP will coach him up with the moves too. He's done a good I mean, job. He looks like two ninety ish here, which yeah, he's yeah, he big. Looks big. But you can kind of still see some of that explosion. Yeah. I and agree. I think I, I honestly think he's a little bit of a tweener here. 
Um, which, like, I think he either needs to be like an athletic 310 or a super, you know, powerful 260. 270, 270. You either need to turn him into Josh Farmer or cut cut some weight off of him and see if. Right. But I, I like I, I like the experiment of cutting weight off of him. I mean, yeah, he's got a good base. He's got a decent first step. I think you could turn him into into something as, you know, that Fox defensive end, the the guy mm-hmm. that can kind of set the edge. Hey, there he is, getting around there. the edge. Yeah, he, he plays, he, at least from these plays, it looks like he's playing pretty hard finishing the play. Yeah, and his his snap rate went up as the season progressed. So he was someone that clearly, I think West Virginia thought he was a little bit raw, and you see that in how high he plays sometimes. But he's someone that it's not exactly a defensive juggernaut. (laughs) No, (laughs) God, yeah. Good extension there. Just got to disengage better, right? Yeah. Yeah, you'd like to see that those flashes of of penetration kind of come in more often. Here he kind of on the inside them. he does though right he gets across everybody's face like better like pretty darn good. Yeah, it's a nice play. He seems to be at, the, at his best when he's given a stunt to kind of just his job is to to blow things up. Couldn't quite get across the face there. Yeah, kind of gets reached by this tackle. Still keeps fighting though. I like that. That's again playing inside of that kind of odd front look. There you go. That's some good. See, I'm with you there, man. Drop a couple pounds off that. That is some speed and athleticism there. Yeah, he does a decent job with his legs here. I think he's got a powerful lower body that he doesn't use much because he gets kind of. The, the offensive lineman get up under him, kind of take him off of his legs. But you can see when he's able to reset his, his balance, he doesn't have the upper body strength, I think, that you want to win this, but he gets back in the play. What do you think so far, Adam? No, I, just, I think he's a developmental piece. I mean, I think he's got he's got to develop some strength. It looks like he's got to develop his hands. Like that's that's good play. there. Yeah, that's yeah. Really nice it's the first time you've really seen him disengage. And, and to be fair, this is at the end of the game. This is probably yep. against second yep. stringers here. I, I would say that he, he's got to work on his hands. He's got to work on his upper body strength, his lower body strength. Just all it, overall, just continue to develop his body and his and his uh, and his his strength. I think that that would go a long way for him. It looks like he does a nice job engaging, but then we see him get stuck. Um, mm-hmm. Some of that is because he's not able to get disengaged. Guys get it; they get a hold of him. He doesn't seem to know what to do. Uh, so, I think that you know, getting getting with JP and Odell and working bags and and all that stuff will will go a long way for him. Um, I would say some of his leverage; he gets a little high at times. They're going to want to work on that kind of stuff, but I mean, I think. There's traits there. You see him be explosive. Like you see a first step quickness inside, outside. Um, you see him kind of understanding and having the ability to stay square down the line of scrimmage and make plays in the run game. Uh, you saw that one play on that boot where he was explosive off the off the block and was able to get out and get the quarterback's face. So, like, there's flashes there. Um, I just think it's nice that he's. I think he's a red shirt sophomore. I believe is what his classification is. Yeah, you know, he's had two years in college. This is going to be his third year in college. It's nice that you've got time with him to continue to develop him. You're not asking him to come in and be 1A defensive end. You're asking him to come in and be a part of a package, have a role, yeah. play to his strengths this year, and just continue to develop him. Like it, The tools are there. The frame is there. Uh, the skill set's there. It's time to unlock it. I agree with you there. The, the tools are there. Like all the physical qualities, the clay is there. And luckily, Florida State's defensive line coaches, they're technicians. They're specialists. All that technical seasoning, all of that, just all of that technique, leverage, hands, moves, counter moves. They've shown that even with guys that only have one year left to them, that this coaching staff can make a dramatic impact 
on just the quality of their play. So this is going to be a great kid to like roll, roll in rotationally. I think as it did in West Virginia, I think his snap count usage is going to grow throughout the year. And I am very excited for the bearded wonder himself, J storms to get a hold of this kid <laughs> and get crazy with Tommy. Wa Tommy Wa mania, Kev, anything you want to say, I think it's a good take and I'm happy they took him. Uh, especially like you mentioned, Adam, multiple times, having that multiple years to be with him and, and developing and what you want. Kev, anything you want to say before we wrap it up? Yeah, I would say that like I'm a four four three guy. Like I'm an even front guy. I'm used to oh, watching even front teams. Oh, yeah. I'm used to like being around it. Like <laughs> so, when I watch a defensive end, I evaluate him on his pass rushing and on the, his ability to get around that edge to be a dominant pass rusher. And right, right now he's he's built to be more of a, a three tech. He's or more of a you know four eye, more of more of one of those guys in, in a three down front. But he clearly has the first step. He clearly has that ability. So I'm with you. I think he's he's someone that you know right now the film might not be as obvious. Like it might not be like a prime Patrick Payton or, or mm -hmm. and he may never be that level of like twitchiness. But you knock 10, 15 pounds, you, you would be surprised at just how much that ex that impacts that explosiveness. And um, I'm excited to see kind of how he develops, how he kind of starts fitting into Florida State's scheme, how they use him. Um, I think this is a big pickup. And I, I think, you know, you, you've been struggling to get those high school players in at defensive line, defensive end. This is a guy that's almost a high school player for you. He's he's a guy that has years to develop. And like you guys were saying, he's he's someone that I think you can be excited for. And we are and we hope you are, too. And you should still be excited because guess what? The videos aren't over. We've got more to drop. We've got more transfers to talk about. And as always, if you want to see that stuff, Knowles247.com is the place to go. All the news, all the notes, all the analysis, all the fun is there waiting for you. And Knowles247.com if you subscribe. Also, Knowles247 YouTube channel, subscribe, notifications on. And the X's and Knowles YouTube channel, obviously, subscribe, notifications on on and you will get all this wonderful information first and rub it in people's face because <laughs> you should anyway love you guys more videos to record keep chopping